Okay, write the general equation of a circle. Circles should be familiar from geometry. Um, you may have seen x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Oopsie. That is the equation of a circle with the center at zero. Zero, zero, the origin. Okay, but we're going to need to do more than just circles with their center at the origin. So what we're going to do is write the general form where the equation is expanded to include shifts to the left or right. So x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. That is the general form. Explain how to find the center and radius. Well, the center is the point h comma k. So if you see a minus a number, if h is that number. If you see plus a number, it's going to be the opposite. All right, the radius, you do um, take the square root of r squared to get r. Okay, so that's if you're given the equation of the circle. You can find the center and the radius by doing those things. If you have to write the equation of a circle with the center at the origin, which is 0, 0, and a radius r of 5, you would be doing the equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared because the 0, 0, h and k are 0 of each. So if you plug in what you got, you've got 5 for the radius. You should simplify that and say x squared plus y squared equals 25. Now these are notes. I am not expecting you to write all that. You can just jump right to this answer once you know what you're doing. Okay. Write the equation of the circle in number three if it's shifted four units to the right and down four. Well, now that means that to the right would be a change in the x value. So the new center, if it shifted right four, would be at from zero to the right four would be four. And down two would be taking the y value and going down two, so that'd be negative two. So that's telling me the center is four negative two. The radius would stay five. Okay, now we need to, new, to use the form x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. Our h value is the 4, our k value is the negative 2. So if you put in a 4 for h, you're going to have x minus 4 quantity squared plus y minus negative 2. So what will we write? Okay, so plus 2 quantity squared equals 5 squared would be 25. So that would be the new equation. Okay. Number five, identify the center and radius of the circle, then sketch the graph. Well, this one has a center. Oh, my pen is acting up. Center at zero, zero. R squared is forty is nine. So we would take the square root, and that would give us a radius of three. So we would go to this origin, 0, 0. We would count to the right from there, 3, to the left from there, 3, up from the center, 3, and down, 3. And then we'd sketch a circle. Okay. Your circle should not look, not look like boxes. Try to make curves. They don't have to be perfect, but they should look like you're trying to make a circle not an oval or whatever just do your best <laughs> all right the center for this one it's the format is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared so if i look at this the h is a four the k is a ooh, ooh, it says minus k in the formula this says plus three so k must have been negative three and r squared is four so we take the square root of four to get two we go to the point 4, negative 3, the center of the circle, and then the radius, 2 to the right, 2 to the left, up 2 from there, and down 2 from there. And we make a little circle. Okay, so actually this should be review so far. Seven. Center of this circle would be negative one three. 
the radius squared is 9, so the radius would be the square root of 9, which is 3. Go to negative 1, 3, left 1 up 3, and then move 3 up, down, right, and left. Those are the only accurate radii that you can actually plot. Once you connect them, though, with curves, you'll get the other points that sh are on the circle, if you're a good drawer. <laughs> And this one is not perfect of mine. It's good enough for what we're trying to get across. Okay, center on number eight. Uh, there's a value for h, but it's supposed to say x minus h, so it's a negative three. Okay, and then there's no value for k, so it would be zero. Yep. R squared is 16, so r would be the square root of 16, which is a radius of four. Negative 3, 0 is on the x-axis, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 above. You can count 4 below, 4 to the right, etc. And then sketch. Okay, so we're on to the next page where there's a different variety of problems. Now, if you were given a picture, you'll need to be able to write the equation from the picture. So what would you need? Well, you need the format if you want to write it again at the top of your paper for this page. Y minus H quantity squared plus, well, I said that should be X minus H quantity squared. I believe I said Y. Um, plus, parentheses, Y minus K quantity squared equals R squared. All right, this one, find the center. It's located at, at negative 2, negative 4. Count from the center to a point as the furthest away. You can't really count this way, so you need to count horizontally or vertically. And notice the numbering. It's only 2 to get to the, get the radius. So R is 2. All right, I'm ready to write the equation by substituting in h and k. That will give me x plus 2 quantity squared plus y plus 4 quantity squared equals 2 squared, which is 4. <clears throat> All right, let's find the center on the next one, on number 10. It is at 0. 1, and the radius of it, 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to write the equation. Oh, I don't need a parenthesis in the beginning. Why? Yeah, so if you write this in honors algebra 2, and then you leave it like this, I'm going to take something off. Okay, that you've got to simplify, right? I mean, I mean seriously, you, we should not be leaving a zero in there. All right, so it should be x squared plus. Then you get to leave this in parentheses because I don't want you to foil it out because actually that means y squared minus two y plus one. That's not y squared plus one. All right, you have you remember foiling? So we'll be getting into that really soon. Um, three to the second, of course, is nine. So that would be your answer. Simplify it. Okay. All right, 11 is telling us the center at 0, 0. As soon as you know it's the center at the origin, it's just x squared plus y squared equals r squared. The radius is 8, but we should simplify 8 squared to 64. Yes. Can you say that again? I'm is not it, sure what you meant. Yes, absolutely. I would never write that myself if I was making a key. I'm just going to write the answer down. Sometimes I write steps, though, when I want to, uh, because I want to observe your steps. But usually, I mean, something this simple, I'm going right to the answer. Okay, and this one would be x plus 9 quantity squared 
plus y plus 12 quantity squared equals 4. That's what you meant. <laughs> Just going right to the answer. Yes. You know, uh, and is anybody confused as to why it's plus 9? I mean, because the format was, at, you know, if you're this, and I'm telling you, if you left it like this, I would take off. Okay? You need to simplify it. Okay? It should be this. All right. 13. Now we got a little more work to do. If the center is at 0, 0, and the point on the circle is 8, negative 15, I know the center, I know my h and my k, so I actually know this is going to be an easy equation. However, how am I going to get the radius? That's correct, the distance formula. So your friendly distance formula, which I hope you understood in geometry because it's critical to many, many things. So x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. That's your distance formula square root of. Now, I'm going to try to make it simple. If you want to find the radius, how far from 0 is 8? 0 to 8 is 8. Okay, let's go for it. So r is equal to the square root of 8 squared plus, how far is it from 0 to negative 15? Now, I said far. Does it matter if you have a negative? No, because you're going to square it. So for how far is it from 8, 0 to 15, negative 15 is 15. Okay, so this is how you do the, you can do the distance formula like this. 64 plus 225, you should be getting 289 and take the square root of 289. Eventually, I will hope that you will know the square root of 289 by heart. It is 17. Okay, so I got a radius of 17. It's kind of big. Okay, so, right, 289, you checked, the square root of 289 is 17, isn't it? No, okay, <laughs> so I thought I saw some faces looking like, what? All right, so it's kind of a big um, radius, but you're supposed to put 17 squared here, so that's 289. Okay, r squared is 17 squared, that's why that's 289 in the equation. Okay, and the next one says center and point on the circle. Now we have a little more work to do because the center is not at the origin. So I'm going to find the distance, which is the radius. The distance is the radius from a center to a point on a circle. So the radius is going to be, now I'm going to subtract. Okay, so I'm going to do it, follow the formula, uh, negative 8 minus negative 10 quantity squared plus 11 minus 14 quantity squared. Negative 8 minus negative 10 would be plus 10. That would be 2 squared. 11 minus 14, negative 3 quantity squared. Be careful. When you square, you get a positive. So that would be 4 plus 9. This would be the square root of 13 for the radius. Now, don't use the calculator and get a decimal. Just leave it alone right now. All right, here we go. We got our center. There's our h and our k. So it starts off x. Minus negative 10, so plus 10. Quantity squared plus y minus 14, the k value quantity squared, equals. Now, if you want to make a note, r squared would equal the square root of 13 squared. What would that give you? What happens when you square a square root? They undo one another. They're inverse operations. So you get 13. So it's kind of nice even to get a radius that's the square root of something. You're going to square it to put it in the equation, so you're going to get a whole number. That's why I didn't want you to use a calculator. You can do that on the calculator, though. If you're not uh, real comfortable with that, this thing is slower than mine. I'll see what I'll show you. If you hit the square root of 13 and you square it, oops, what I do wrong? Got to get that thing out of there. You got to come out. Oh, he's not going to like me. Oh, well, I'll see if it works. There, see if it works. It didn't like my syntax. All right, well, forget it. 
I already told you. <laughs> Sorry, uh, you can type it on the calculator. You just got to arrow out of the radical before you hit squared. Let's do another. How do you find the equation of a circle given the endpoints of a diameter? Little different. Okay, so two steps. You need to know the center, right? Find center by doing what? How could you get the center if you know the diameter? There you go. Say that out loud, louder, Austin. Midpoint. Midpoint. Okay. So you want the center. So you're going to find the center by getting the mid, uh, finding the midpoint. Sorry, I don't know why I wrote find twice. Finding midpoint of diameter. All right, then. What will you do to find the radius if knowing the diameter, endpoints of the diameter? So you're going to find the distance, all right? Find the diameter using the distance formula. And then what? And divide by 2 to get the radius. All right, and then after that, you know what to do. You plug the stuff into the format for the equation. All right, so a radius, of course, is half of a diameter. You don't need that picture. I was just trying to give you some hints. All right, so you need the midpoint formula which is add the x's, divide by 2, add the y's, divide by 2. So I'll show you on an example. So you got your endpoints of your, your diameter, 18, 14, and 2, 2. Let's find the center. It would be the point that is the midpoint, so you'd do 18 plus 2 divided by 2. You cannot type that on your calculator like that. You will make mistakes. Think in your head. What's 18 plus 2? All right, 20. 20 divided by 2 is... 10. All right, find it that way. It's easier. 14 plus 2 is 16. Divided by 2 would be 8. There's your center. So technically, midpoint formula has parentheses around adding your x's and your y's. If you want to write down the midpoint formula, to remind you, it's x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. All right, now I'm going to find the distance um, or the length of the diameter. So D, distance, diameter, subtract the x's. I'm going to just go in order because that's easiest. 18 minus 2, quantity squared, plus 14 minus 2, quantity squared. That gives me 16 squared plus 12 squared. And I have these memorized because I use it so much. It's 256 plus 144, and that's going to give you a hunt, uh, 400, right? You can type that part on your calc. Square root of 400 is 20. Now, the diameter is 20. So the radius is half of 20, which is 10. All right, now we can write the equation. Okay, I have more room than you because I can extend my page. So it's x minus 10 quantity squared plus y minus 8 quantity squared equals 10 squared, which is 100. All right, everybody with me or you need a second? All right, next one. Endpoints, zeros. Oh, this one's easier. Center. Uh, if you have 0 and negative 12, half of negative 12 would be negative 6. 0 plus 10 is 10. Half of that would be 5. There's your center. I just did the midpoint really fast because I just said, well, if you have 0, 0, you cut those in half and you've got the middle. All right? Um, distance. A little bit more work. Uh, except how far is it from 0 to negative 12? It's 12. It's negative 12, but you're going to square it, so you, I don't care if you write negative 12. 
the distance from 0 to 10 is 10. This is going to give me the square root of 244. Leave it alone. The radius then would be the square root of 244 divided by 2. Don't, don't type it. Okay, I'm going to show you how to get it. And I'm going to show you how to get it without a calculator, although you could type it on the calculator. Let me show you because you're going to have to know the stuff I'm going to say about radicals in the future anyway, so the sooner you start refreshing on it, the better. All right, here we go. We're going to start off with x minus negative 6, so we have x plus 6, quantity squared, plus y minus 5, quantity squared. All right, here's what i got to put on the other side. I need to take this and r square it. So basically, r squared would equal, oopsie, let me write that better. Sorry, I made too big a radical. The square root of 244 divided by 2, but you're going to square it. Okay, so let me remind you some things about radicals. If you square 240, the square root of 244, you're going to get 244. If you square 2, you're going to get 4. What's 244 divided by 4? Do it in your head. 24 divided by 4 is 6. 4 divided by 4, 1. 61. Did it without a calculator. You can do that. The more you practice, that, now I think verifying on your calculator is always a good idea, especially when you're taking a test or something. Um, but try doing more mental math. It'll make you faster. It's faster to do I have most of the time than on the calculator. It's good practice, good for the brain. All right, now 18 is telling me I want to write the equation of a circle that is this circle shifted or translated right 4 and down 3. Well, I think that can be confusing. When, and as to what to actually do to these numbers. So what I think is easier is to say, well, what's the center of this circle? Because that's what's going to move, the center. And then the radius is going to stay the same. Okay. So what we have to worry about is the center of this circle is at 1, 1. Right? All right. So now let's write what this would mean. If I'm going to go right 4, then that means I'm increasing the x by 4. And if I'm going to go down 3, I'm going to decrease the y by 3. So subtract 3. The new center will be at 5, negative 2. Okay, now I have a new h and k, and all I'm going to do is change it up. So I'm going to put in x minus 5 quantity squared plus y plus 2 quantity squared equals 64. Any questions about that? That's the easiest way to do it and not make any mistakes. All right, so the center for this one is at 10, 9. We want to translate it left 1, 1 to the left, which means take away 1 from the x, and up 4, add 4 to the y. So the new center is 9, 13. Radius won't change, so it's just going to be x minus 9 quantity squared plus y minus 13 quantity squared equals 25. Well, those are all my examples. Guess what? No book page. However, you have the pack, the worksheet after that has problems that are like the examples that I went over. Okay? So have fun. And then I'm going to return your quizzes a minute. If you have anything you'd like to ask me also from uh, last night, you may. But I'm going to turn off the recording.